very good. <coughs> Welcome to the Pondscape Unexpected Disaster. Um, I was up in my room and for a second I thought we were having one of those climate change earthquakes there. Well, the climate changed all right, but not the one we were thinking. Um, the tank stand completely collapsed <laughs> in the back here. Everything destroyed. Um, <laughs> everything destroyed. We've been working here. We've been scraping up fish off the floor, tons of buckets. Look at this miracle. And we got a bunch more buckets like this. These miracle fish, okay? And we've been picking up fish for about an hour or so. We still are. And these fish are still alive. This is like, you know, post-2012 frickin' Ascension fish here. I swear to God, they got their frickin'... I mean, this is, this, is in, this is impossible according to physics and biology, I'm thinking. As long as these things have been out here, and we've ha been having trouble getting to them quickly because there's broken glass everywhere. I've got a few cuts, nothing major, but the point is, is even being careful, I got a few cuts. Hey, can you get those fish there if you can? Yeah, look at that. And she's chasing them. The suckers are still alive on the floor. Look at that. Our fish are strong, let me tell you. This is just insane. Dad's getting something together over there. Yeah, I'm for a second. My feet are fucking killing me right now. Uh, you know what? I'm not lying to you. I'm going to tell her on what happened. Uh, the fish tank stand broke. Glass got broken and some fish did die. Yeah. And the strangest thing <coughs> is, I was in my room and all I think I heard was this big bang. Yeah, my room shook because my room's up that way. Yeah, I thought, I thought one of the it felt like were, an earthquake. I thought one of the cats were playing with Katie's toys. And all I think I came <laughs> out and I'm like, what the hell? And you came out and you said the fish thing exploded. Yeah, a few people on YouTube were wondering. I'm not just uh, standing here like some idiot while fish are dying. <laughs> I've been hauling up fish into buckets. Oh, I'm taking a quick <coughs> break. rest here because I'm not going to exert myself like an idiot. I'm going to save a piece of this glass so that I know what uh, you got big shit in here. thickness. Man, there's been about a thousand fish in this tank. We scooped up at least a few hundred. I think is I think we're going to be able to get most of them. Some are going to end up fish belay on the floor the freaking hard way. <laughs> but um. Oh yeah, really. Yeah, kitty cats are going to... We're going to have to bleach this whole, whole floor. Alright, I will. I'm just going to my foot yeah. break here for a minute. This whole room um, um, smells... Uh, Fishy. Like, well, it, it, I think it smells like a certain like area on a seashell. You know, because seashells can kind of have that funky, just pulled out of the ocean kind of stink. You know what I'm talking about? About seashells, Dad? Uh, How they just stink, like fish. especially in certain areas, in a lower, yeah. more yes, inward yes, pushing yes. sort of, yeah, just nasty stink. Oh, you know what? It smells like someone's uh, on their fishy period. When the give, me, give me the cardboard down in front of you, quick. Cardboard. Right there. Oh. Oh, oh well, we don't we don't need to hear about about fence witch. Uh, oh, when the seashell was leaving her crappy tampons in my room. I didn't know seashells had uh, tampons. <sighs> seashell with there. with tampons. Someone, I think someone maybe maybe found more than Nemo. Yeah. Come here, little dick. Come here, little dick. Look at All that. Right. Okay, put this in there. Still. Dump this in there. I don't know if you're going to live or not. Okay. Uh, I can't grab the babies. Here, here, here. What's the matter? You're not going to be able to salvage the little babies. No. Those are going to be impossible. You're only going to be able to get the adults. The board, fine. It's not a well. Then you can do what we have to do. We've got to see if we can lift this tank up. Right, let me yeah. Get this little asshole. 
I don't know if it's going to fall apart on us. I don't want you to get cut. I ain't going to get on Oh, another big one. Where, where? What happened? She just cut herself by all accident. Right, go. Treacherous job here. You'll be all right. Put some back teen on it or something. Connie's huh, got low pain tolerance. <laughs> I got several cuts and I barely feel it. Connie gets a little cut and she's all acting right, like she's right, being moved. Right. Okay. <laughs> she's helping and that's. I know. I'm just saying. Everybody's different with their central nervous system. Right. Uh -huh. These fish definitely have different central nervous systems. They're still alive. <laughs> wow. Well, they just didn't get into a bad area. That's all. Oh no, this isn't a bad area. This is perfectly great. <laughs> right. Yeah, I could definitely get in here better with this tank. Oh, look at that. Out of here. Yeah, this stuff is going to fall on whatever is alive, but. Got light over there. Okay. Here's the maneuver. All right, now I gotta get out of here, pause this, and put it to the side, and so I got my hands free. What? Oh, hold on to the camera. I can't do it no more because this thing is. I gotta put pressure on this too. Okay. All right. Well, now my early balding is gonna show big time. I prefer to wear a hat, but oh well. Careful with it. Make sure you got that around your wrist. Oh man, there's another sword down there. Well, let's get this under. Oh, we got a full glass over here, babe. Full oh, glass do. on each side. Really? Yeah. Oh, crazy. See if you can pick up that. Um. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Let's get it at the bottom. All right, walk over that way. Oh, I'm going to put the fish down. Okay. Walk over that way. Oh, my word. Oh, good. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Oh. Yeah, we can save we can save this frame. Where are we going? Oh yeah, we'll go straight up there and then we just stand it up. There you go. Oh. Easy. Okay. We wait. got electric no, wait, no. wire caught. Yeah. Oh wait. That's right, guys. I didn't mean to cut myself either. Yeah, thank well, you, honey. Because this sucker is deep. Spray it. It's not, stop it. it's not stopping. Go spray it. It'll stop. It'll stop, then She already did spray it. Oh, okay. That's what she was in the bathroom doing. Thank oh, okay. you. <laughs> oh, sword. Big guppy right there. I know, and there's some under here. I'm trying to get this glass off of it. Here. Yeah, the fish is all the way in here. Man, they're still alive. Some badass fish. You said you don't want the red tail sharks in this tank. Oh. 
With the glove on, you cut your fingers? Oh. I was trying to get that little wiggly, a little shit, and I came up and I caught her right on the clip of the glass. Yeah. I never thought I'd be doing this in the middle of the night. Gee, you think? You know, that's what I didn't thought. Usually I'm crept up by now. I'm going to have to go until tomorrow. Night. I'll just do the best you guys can for now. Gotta be sorted through and <sighs> Dave, you want my gloves so you don't cut your hands? No, I'm fine. I got my cut when I was trying to maneuver with the tank. In this way I got poked. Yeah. I didn't get cut from any glass on the floor. I got cut on the tank. Yeah. Put your hand. Oh, I already took care of it all. I don't know. I got a minor little cut. It's nothing major. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we can't have Katie come back here in the morning. Well, she's going to come back and look, Carrie. A baby sword, and I salvaged him. Oh, oh cool. There was, a, there was two little tiny ones, and there was some, about three or four smaller, I mean, uh, average-sized babies. Now there's the baby sword. I got a whole ton of fish over here. <laughs> Still alive. Some resilient fish. You know, when we told Tony we got strong guppies, we didn't even know how strong. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Careful, babe. I'm fine. Cardboard really helped. I did a whole bunch of them right now. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just a bit tired because I'm so am I. I'm just telling Connie that because he's like, Are you alright? I'm, yeah, so I'm fine. fine. I'm just tired, that's all. I'm fine otherwise. It becomes a bit bending down after a while. Yeah, it does. Sit in this because it ain't just water, obviously. <laughs> Connie was like, Oh my god, you just bought those new filters, didn't you? I'm like, Yeah, the filters will be fine. You can throw them up against the wall, they'll probably be fine. Yeah. Oh, this fucker stinks. Hard plastic. And those filters didn't for, fall from four stories up. <laughs> no, it's just garbage. Muck. Muck? Yeah. Like what used to live next door? Muck. <laughs> Crapola scum. Oh, you know what? Don't pile that there. There's probably fish under there. <laughs> There's fish under everywhere. What can we do? Well, we gotta get this stuff out of the way. This is part of the filtering system. Oh, shit, we got the nets in the junk box. Because 
guarantee some fish now. I'm going to add this bucket to that one and then fill this bucket up with more fish water. Okay. You want me to stop this? You want me to still keep it going? No, keep it going. It's got a full battery charge on it. Okay. Keep going. Hand me another uh, tissue. Where are they? Bathroom. Oh, I think I have to leave. No. This thing stinks like a motherfucker. Got your hand on, you idiot! That goes on there. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry this had to happen, sweetie. Oh, my. I don't know how I'm taking it so well. Yeah, I hate to... I hate to be in your shoes right now. I hate being here. here. I hate being in my shoes right now. Thank you. <laughs> Oh god, is this thing stink? I'm not in your light. You just was. Sorry. Sorry. He went that's just to put some more fresh water in that, oh, in that right. blue bucket. Yeah, yeah. Another sword. How many swords did you guys save at least? I'm going to start up again. I just love cardboard. I should have thought of that earlier. Gotta admit, these fish aren't tough. Oh, God. 
these are kinking up. Something between there. I'm gonna try and rebuild that tape. Oh, good. I hope you can. Well, at least you still got that one piece of glass still stuck in there. Well, it's not that not it. That's all new, but there's two sides that are still good, but it's gonna be all new glass. I am return. Okay. Can you walk over here and grab this? Hey, I'm getting there. Hold on. Here's another. All right, then we can take that yellow bucket out of the way. Grab what? Yes. Take the yellow bucket out of the way. I'll put these down in the tank that's set up down there. Look at this. I'm taking these Dave, down. scoop them with a net, put them in the top tank by the door. You have a tank on the floor. No, there's enough in there. Okay. The top tank to your right. As I walk in the door? Yeah. Top tank to my right or the left? To your right. right. Okay. Top tank to your right. I don't know.
a whole bunch of them here. yourselves another one. Yeah. There's a few of them in there. We got a fish in the tank. Huh? Got a sword in the tank. What are you talking about? Oh, Come on, can we salvage you? I don't think we can. Him. I don't know how long he's been sitting there, but he's been flopping. He was a sore. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out what the hell I was hearing flopping over here. Yeah. Now I know. Flopping over here, too. You I know. Thank you for helping me. Hey. It's the least I can do. Sorry, I just cut myself. I couldn't do no more. Isn't it kind of funny in a way that this happens the day after the asteroid and all those meteors hit? We get a meteor hit of our own. <laughs> a fish meteor. What's that now? Fresh, fresh water. water. Fish water. See if you can pick up that fluorescent light where you're at and get that out of here. I salvaged a lot of fish over here. A whole bunch of fish. I couldn't believe. You ain't gonna salvage too much more. Amazingly, we salvaged quite a few. Yeah, well, you're gonna lose about 20% of that. <sighs> well, hey, an 80% recovery is 80% more than I would have thought we'd have gotten. These are tough fish. Tougher right, than here. Tougher than I would have imagined. Grab away and grab it! Thank you. Can't grab it all the way without flipping the bucket. Because cords are tangled and caught. And your foot's on it. Yes, Dave. Ah, there's the other roller. I don't this one over here, I'm just a fish. 
does the fish. Excuse me. Even though it's You're a little pro. late. You think? Yeah, I got my sweet too. You alright? Yep. Okay, Yeah, I know that feeling. Well, the cats are gonna love this room for a while. You do know how to zoom in and out on that, don't you? Mm-hmm. We got some more. Barricade it over so the cats don't come back here. Here, kick over a second. Yeah, because that smell's going to give me a minute. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try to put up. Come here, Mama. Oh, I'm not a female sword. Are you dead? I think she's dead. No, yeah. she's still alive. She oh, wow. What about the one I just stuck in there? I don't know. I hate that. Yeah, these are some fish from another planet. Jeez. At least both of those algae eaters made it. Those suckers are tough. I know. Uh, well, take it out of light. I was just wanting to pick this up and get this out of there. So if there's more fish, oh, a get to them easier. Right here. Wow. Still alive? <laughs> a resilient little bastard. Can me anything like that so I can get it out of your way. Oh. I'm not gonna find too much fish now. Hey, you never know. I don't know when they find it. Oh, it's so <laughs> See? What you find, you find. What you don't, you don't. <laughs> Yeah, just hand me anything you want out of your way, and I will make it gone. Look at that, put it right in the wall right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, come on, wait. Put a bang right into it. Yeah. Although, I wonder what part of the tank hit. I Because that wouldn't have been the corner, that was the middle of the tank. Yeah, look at that poor fish. I wonder what slammed into it. Well, I, didn't, I didn't think you would. It's a rhetorical question. There's no way to know, really. Hand me that plastic thing and that over there. Wait a minute, I can't. Okay, let me get out of your way. I'm going for fish right now. They're still alive, look at that. All this time. Yeah, but some of them. I mean, it's not like we just got to them. I mean, it's. We've been at this a while, and a lot of these fish are still alive. Nothing that I can see. It's worse. 
Okay. Hey, you know what? If we salvage fifty percent, that's that's only next of kin to Christ coming back and showing us his water walking skills. I mean, that's <laughs> you know. All right. Miracle I'm in itself. I can't do no more. You want to get down here and look fine? I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah, so I gotta get stuff out of my knees. Yep, careful. My legs and knees are all cramped up. I'll get what I can get and I'll take these buckets downstairs. I don't think there is anymore. Well, I'll find out within a few minutes here, but I'll take these buckets downstairs and everything. Hopefully we can salvage this frame. And if we can salvage that, that's half the battle. Yep. Then you just get glass cut to fit. And we've already got that um, aquarium sealer. I want to buy some more. That ain't going to be enough. I think it will. No, it ain't going to be enough. Again. You forgot. You forget how much we have left. In all honesty, you forget. First of all, you need it in a caulking tool because it comes out of there way too thin. You ain't going to be able to uh, use it like that, Dave. You need it in a caulking for a caulking gun, yeah. so you can shoot a big gob of it in there. Well, whatever floats your boat, we'll figure it out as that we go. That float my boat. It's just so blued in so good, may not be able to get it out. We'll okay. find out later. Maybe yeah. use the hammer to get it out. We'll find out later. Probably going to have to bust the good ones out, too. Yeah, because it's all connected. Well, it's the way it's set in. It's the bottom goes in first, and then all the sides set in on top of it. Yep. Wow. And I was gonna mop these floors today too. <laughs> Your intuition told you not to. Yeah. Oh god. I moved Katie's shoes out to the front room. Well after I come back from work tomorrow I'll start cleaning it all up. I'm gonna move her jacket so she's gonna come back here and grab her coat. Amazing. We can just take the chairs and put them in the way here and put stuff in the way here. Well we got what we could and we got a bunch of them in here. And a whole shitload in there. I think most of the fish in there now are from upstairs. Amazing. I think we're going to have a good recovery on it. I really do. Isn't that amazing? Picking fish up off the damn floor. Look at these guys. Very strong. Very resilient. They're defying the laws of physics. Jesus Christ. Freaking amazing. Holy shit. We hooked up one of the new pumps that was on the other tank before it collided with the floor. We hook that up into here. Normally this would do about 350 gallons per hour. It's probably only at about two-thirds that because the tank is kind of uneven being on the floor and this is uneven and that middle thing can't push down exactly all the way because the tank is too shallow. But it's pushed down most of the way, enough for a suction and a flow. So this isn't working at full capacity because wrong size tank, it's not um, not level, so on and so forth, but still doing a fairly good job nonetheless. I mean, you know, it'll do what it needs to do. Filtration and oxygen. As you can see, the fish is still doing okay. So far, so good. These guys seem to be doing all right so far. Well, this is really a test of our fish stock, isn't it?
Because so, so far, our fish have been able to survive totally. A massive tank crashing to the floor, shattering all over the place. Water everywhere, utter chaos. 2013 was the freaking Armageddon for these fish, okay? End of their freaking world as they knew it. And we've been able to grab most of them up, about 80%. At least 80%. Before any sort of fatality. So now with the 80% that we have left, if 50% of those live, which I personally think it'll be more than 50, but if even 50% of those live, that's just majorly massive miracle. I mean, obviously, at that point, we're breeding some freaking supernatural fucking fish here. Because if our fish can survive that, that means they're pretty damn healthy. So what do you think that's going to do for our clients' customers? What do you think, how good do you think they're going to be in the tanks of, you know, people who end up with them at home? These are some badass, rock-on, hardcore fucking fish. So far, I'm really proud of these fish, man. They've, god damn, amazing. Look at all they're able to go through. Jeez. Freaking incredible. Wow. Badass. So we'll see what happens. Um...